what is the next study case reports and case series now this is a very important concept i want everyone to bring a piece of paper and pen right now everyone who is listening to me pre please bring a piece of paper and a pen and take notes what i'm telling you about case reports and case series probably nobody will ever explain to you in this manner what is case report and what is case series both are different study design remember the case report is actually a case study we all know case studies right but what is a case report why do we call it case report remember when case study when you conduct interview sessions with a case you are looking at at, at some case and you're just observing you are you haven't written it down it's case study the moment you write it down it's called case report case report is a written case study case report is a written case study case report is a written case study so that's the basic difference between case report and case series uh, sorry case report and case study so you can either either say case study or case report it's okay not a huge difference a published case study is known as case report and usually in the medical field usually in the clinical field usually in the doctor's world we use the word the terminology case report now what is a case report case report is case report is when you you are studying one person place or thing or when you are studying one unit write it down when you are studying one unit it is called as case study what can be a unit person place or a thing you can write a case study on a city of san Fr on a city like a city like the city of los angeles like the city uh, london you can write a case report on london case study when you publish it it will be published case study because the word case report will be mostly confined to the patients to the doctor's world so case study can be done on a place case study can be done on a person it could be a patient or it could be a politician people have written case studies on um different politicians in Nelson Mandela reformers people have written case studies on psychopathic patients people have written case studies on uh, famous personalities famous dictators adolf hitler so you must remember this case study can be written on a place on a on a uh, a person or on a thing you can write a case report on somebody's cell phone you can write a case report on the uh, shaft of moses prophet moses you can write a case report on um on uh, a ring of a famous celebrity case report on alcoholic liver disease patients can be done yes but now that there is a problem case report can be of two types single case report and multiple case report. that means in one case report single case study multiple case study in one case study you just study one patient of liver disease that's a case study of a one person but can we have case study of multiple cases yes up to how many usually five usually most people do it of five five cases of five different liver patients and you compare them together you compare them against each other this is the identification of a case study multiple case study because now i don't want you to be confused between case series and multiple case study this is the most confusing part of study design world one of the most confusing part is one of the most confusing part is the difference between case series and multiple case study it's simple to compare uh, to to tell a difference between a case study and case series listen to me once again it's simple it's really simple to tell a difference between a case study and a case series but it's not easy to tell a difference between multiple case studies and case series so now focus here listen to me case studies or when you are studying one unit it could be a country it could be a city it could be a personality it could be a politician it could be a community it could be a population just like uh, for example you're writing a paper on amish people you're writing a paper on jewish people living in israel you're writing a paper on south indian people living in the area of uh, Uh, Chennai, Madras. You're writing a paper on Thai people living near Bangkok area. So this is ex extremely important to understand that case report can be written on anything. Case series, I mean case study, and if it's written written about a patient, it's called case report. Now, what about a treatment? Can we write a case study 
of a treatment re related to a treatment absolutely that we have a patient now this patient is going through a surgical procedure that is a new surgical procedure then yes you can write a case report on that ca that surgical procedure or that mode of treatment yes you can do it so case report can be written on anything and what do you do you provide all the information related to that treatment or related to that patient or related to that city or related to that country or related to that community in that document. Every possible information you can collect. That's called a case study. One person, when you are studying one person, it is called as case study and usually it is called a single case study. Now, when you are studying more than one person, usually that is called case series. But uh, remember I told you there is a concept of multiple case studies. So now you are trapped here. Then what is a multiple case study? And what is a case series? Many people say, I want to write a case series. Some students come to me and they say, I want to write a case series. And while further exploring, I found out that actually they are not working on a case series. They were actually working. They were actually working on something else. They were working on a multiple case study. Or that was a cohort study. He was thinking, the, the student was thinking probably it is a case series, uh, but it was actually something else. Okay, so now, now let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. In case study, you study one unit in an attempt. Write it down. You study one case in an attempt. One case or one unit. Same thing. You call it a case. You call it a unit. Because we are calling it a case or a unit because it could be a place, person, or a thing, a community, anything. <clears throat> two types single case study multiple case study if you are studying one patient is single case study if you are studying from one to five cases that's multiple case study and now what is the difference in multiple case study you compare all of these five cases with one another, one another. they are not similar they're not always similar you compare them with each other let's say one patient is of diabetes the other patient is uh, also of diabetes but one patient has cancer with diabetes. The other patient does not have cancer with diabetes. So you are studying two different cases, one with diabetes and cancer, one with diabetes only. And now you will compare what are the complications, what was the prognosis of diabetes in a person with cancer, in a person without. That's called multiple case study. And you can go up to five people for multiple case study.